So uh, the next question is, I followed all the steps as shown in level one, week three, day five lessons, but when importing the file in Unreal Engine, it's getting stuck at 80%. I have tried restarting and importing again and again, almost six to seven times, but the screen gets stuck at 80%. I had to start in the task manager to close the every time. All right, I think you guys should be able to see this. Yeah, so I think the person is trying to get a particular free uh, animation from the Accurex main website and they're applying it to one of their own rigged characters called as Bianca. I can see that they've targeted the application towards Unreal and 60 FPS. Just trying to go back to make sure the correct options are selected. Uh, okay, yeah, looks good to me. So fast forward a bit, they're downloading it and then they have it in their particular file explorer now in the big office project you can see that the bianca skeletal mesh is already available or added previously uh, and i think this is the rigged one from accurate itself which is imported next up the person is importing the various different types of accurate uh, animations and finally choosing the skeletal mesh as the bianca skeleton Finally, when trying to load it, it gets stuck at around 80%. Uh, just try to make sure that uh, in case you have downloaded this Bianca model from maybe Sketchfab or Sketchup and it automatically downloaded as a skeletal mesh, you have to first make sure that you don't apply the animations or the accurate animations to the Bianca skeletal mesh that you imported from Sketchfab because that might cause the issue of the, of the loading thing. So just make sure that the skeletal mesh in your Unreal Engine is of Accurig's uh, auto rig skeletal mesh and not of Sketchfabs. That could be one issue why you're stuck at 80% loading. Uh, then secondly, what you want to check is in case it's not loading and it is an Accurig model, what you can do is you can simply uh, head over to your Unreal Engine project from your file explorer. And within that, you can go into your content and inside your content, you can create your folder, maybe called Accurate Animations, and automatically just post those different types of animations that you downloaded from Accurate into the folder, just copy paste it from the file explorer itself, and it should uh, automatically head over in Unreal Engine. Now, initially, when you get it from Unreal Engine, it will be blank, like there won't be anything set up. So when you, you can just simply right click or double click to open that animation, uh, particular animation thing, animation folder and on that you will get an option to choose the skeletal mesh that you want to add now when that comes you can simply choose the bianca skeletal mesh and it should automatically get integrated with the skeletal mesh and that that procedure will work because it's a kind of uh, hack you could say on to to forcefully get your animations into unreal engine and you will kind of get to know at the end of adding you will you might get either a warning saying that there might be some bone mismatch, which then gives you a better idea that maybe the model was not rigged properly uh, with respect to the type of animation. So you can either use a different model to rig with to kind of see if that works or otherwise it should smoothly just get added automatically. So this is how you can tackle this issue. And if not, you can definitely just share the Bianca character with us on Discord and then uh, I or maybe some other person can test it out for you and let you know whether this character has an issue with the Accurate uh, plugin or it just works smoothly. So this is just a few different types of ideas that you can test out on your own to just make sure that it works. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question.